If you follow my top dog tips or recipe videos, you know how much I love using my crock pot to cook meals for my pet. I am very busy, we have a couple of kids and I work and my husband works and so we don't have a whole lot of time to prepare dog food. Crock pots make it super easy, you can just pop everything in, four to six hours you have a meal for your dog. I love to throw things in before I go to work, when I come home it's all set to go and um, you can make bulk recipes this way as well. If I have a day where I have some free time, I just make a couple of batches in the crock pot, freeze it as it comes out, and we're good to go for uh, a week or two, and then I don't have to worry about making food every day. This is a fairly simple crock pot recipe that is very affordable as well. Um, it's made with pork as the protein source. I'm using some boneless pork that I've cubed into pieces appropriately sized for my dogs. If you wanted to change the protein source, you certainly could. Uh, beef or chicken, um, if they're readily available in your area. If you live somewhere where something like venison or ostrich meat is available, that would work as well. If you wanted to substitute, it would just be two pounds of whatever protein source that you like or that you have available to you. I use pork, again. Two cups of asparagus that I've diced as well. And two cups of beets. I have two cups of white potatoes. I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of olive oil, a tablespoon of ground flax seed, I have one cup of water, and then I'm gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon each of clove, basil, and rosemary. And then all you have to do is cover your crock pot and you're gonna cook this on low for about six hours. You do wanna just stir it occasionally. Um, you really don't need to stir it more than once every couple hours, just to make sure all those um, herbs and spices get equally combined. So we're going to cover it, cook it on low for six hours, stirring occasionally, and once it's completely cooled, you can feed it to your dog. This is what your food will look like after it's finished. You can see the pinkish tint to everything with the beet juice. Once it's cooled, you can feed it to your pup. If you're looking for serving size information or the nutritional facts, just click the link below the video. It'll take you to our website. That's where um, all of that is. And you can print the recipe as well if you'd like to share it with your veterinarian or print it out and keep it on hand. If you have any other questions, feel free to email us. Thanks for watching this recipe video.